in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a couple of PowerPoint file extension tricks that can save you a lot of time and can help make PowerPoint even more effective for you. So I have a PowerPoint presentation here on my desktop. It doesn't have to be on your desktop, but in this case it is. And it's called Animation in the Classroom. If I double click on it, it opens up. And now if I'm ready to present in front of an audience, I can start my presentation a couple of different ways. Down here I can, or I can go to slideshow from the beginning, whatever I want to do, and then I can begin. Now, what if I want to make this so that it's just a little bit faster? I want to save a few steps so that I don't have to open it up, then look for the slideshow tab and click from beginning or click down here. I just want it to start and play immediately. Well, there is a way for you to save your PowerPoint in such a way that it will do that. But here's a file extension trick that you can use. So this presentation is saved in PowerPoint presentation format. Now it's hard for me to see that. The extension at the end of the title of this PowerPoint presentation is being hidden from me by Windows. So I'm going to go down here next to the Start button where it says Type Here to Search. And I'll click there and I'm going to search for Show Hidden Files. And look, there's a system setting for showing hidden files. When I click to open that up, it takes me to a For Developers area, and here's the setting I'm looking for. Change settings to show hidden and system files. So I'm gonna click this Show Settings button, and it gives me a pop-up, and on the View tab, if you look closely, there's an option for hiding extensions for known file types. I actually don't want that. I wanna uncheck that, and the reason why is because now, when I click OK or Apply, and then X out, now it will actually show me the kind of file type that I'm looking at. So this one is a .pptx, and so is this one. Those are modern PowerPoint presentations. Now that I've done that, I can change that extension to something else. Now the first few times that you do this, I would highly recommend that you right click on your presentation and choose Copy. So I'm gonna copy it, and then right click Paste, and now I'm gonna right click on it, and choose Rename, but I'm not really gonna change the name itself. I'm gonna go here to the extension and change it from .pptx to .pps. That changes it to a PowerPoint show. Notice that I get a warning, that's okay, I'll say yes. And you probably noticed the icon itself changed. Now, when I'm ready to present, I just double click. It opens immediately and presents the show. So this is a faster way to jump right into your presentation and begin presenting. Again, it's probably a good idea to keep the original separate from that. And maybe when I'm done doing the presentation, I can just trash that and I still have my original. But it is a nice little trick and time saver. Let me give you another example of a file extension trick in PowerPoint. Let's say here in my presentation, I've used some graphics and some images maybe even some videos, and I would like to be able to use those in maybe a handout in addition to using them in PowerPoint. Well, I could just copy paste each one of these items separately into Microsoft Word or another program, but instead, look what I can do. I can just, again, copy this presentation by right-clicking, copy, paste, and then I can right-click on the copy and rename it. Instead of renaming it .pps, I'm gonna rename it .zip and I tap enter on the keyboard, it gives me a warning. Yes, that's okay. So Windows has now turned my PowerPoint presentation into a zipped folder. I can open that zipped folder and look, all of the elements of my PowerPoint presentation are here. Most of them that I'm looking for would be here in the media subfolder. You can see there's an image of an animation that I used on my first slide. There's a screenshot that I used. Basically, all of the elements that make up my PowerPoint presentation have been organized into folders and subfolders in this zipped folder. So those are two PowerPoint file extension tricks that you might find useful as you use PowerPoint more and more. If you are aware of any other PowerPoint file extension tricks that you can use to rename the file extension and have your PowerPoint do different things, please put those examples in the description below and we can learn more about that from each other. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. 
And when you do subscribe, click the bell next to the subscribe button. If you do, you'll be notified whenever I post another video. And if you'd like to support my channel, become a supporter on my Patreon account, and you'll see a link to that in the description below.